Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cozy Chair Club, a reading channel for kids. I am so glad that you are all here today. Well, you can see our jelly bean jar. If you're wondering why I have a jelly bean jar, then you should click the link below so you can listen to that book. Jelly Bean and the One Good Thing is a fabulous book. And in that story, her father tells her for every one good thing you do, I'll grant you one jelly bean. So we're playing a game here on the channel. If you Instagram one good thing that you've done and you tag three friends, then you can go in the jelly bean jar to win one copy of that book. I have six copies of that book. So I hope to see the wonderful one good things that you've been doing. And today, I have some jelly beans. So today I have one from Nora and Reagan. They made cookies for their sunbeam teacher and for their friends. Wow, all these cookies, they just sound so delicious. I, it makes me want to go make cookies and take them to my friends. You kids are all inspiring me to do wonderful things too. And Lincoln and Iris, they have been taking care of Chessa while their mom has been sick and they even helped to make dinner. They helped with the salad and the dessert and even helped their mom paint the fence. That is a lot of one good things to do. I am really proud of all of you kids out there and the wonderful things that you're doing because it might just seem like one good thing or a few good things, but really it can change the world. Do you remember when we read Ordinary Mary's Extraordinary Deed and how she just did one nice thing for five people and those five people help five more people and those five help five more and pretty soon she changed the world. That's just like what you guys are doing. You're doing wonderful things. So make sure to send me an Instagram and tag me at the Cozy Chair Club and make sure that I see what you have been up to. I'm so proud of you kids. Well, today it is time for our book. But before I read it, I want you to all raise your hands if you're wearing socks. Raise your hand if you're wearing socks. Right now I'm wearing socks. But some of you might be at home. You might be snuggled in bed. You might not be wearing socks. But this book is called A Sock is a Pocket for Your Toes. This is a super fun book. Today I'm going to be reading this book for Kimball. Hello Kimball! I hope that you like it. This book is by Elizabeth Garton Scallon and illustrated by Robin Priest Glaser. And it is published by HarperCollins Publishers. They have great books, don't they? Well, let's see about this pocket. This is a book about all kinds of pockets. A sock is a pocket for your toes. A vase is a pocket for a rose. A pocket for a chicken is a coop. And a bowl is a pocket full of soup. Uh-oh, look what happened to the soup. A bowl is a pocket spilling soup. Oh, have you ever spilled your soup out of your pocket? Your bowl pocket? A cave is a pocket for a bear. A breath is a pocket full of air. Look at this one. <gasps> Can you blow a balloon? Let's do it. One, two, three. <gasps> a breath is a pocket full of air. You're right. A hat is a pocket for your hair. A seat is a pocket called a chair. Please, Scooch. This chair is a pocket to be shared. I love this picture because look at them eating those delicious treats and they're sharing that chair pocket. Did you know that all these things are pockets? A pocket for a bird is a nest. A bed is a pocket for a rest. A bathtub is a pocket full of suds. And piggies love a pocket full of mud. The piggies need a rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Look at them, they need a bath, don't they? A lake is a pocket for a duck. A horseshoe is a pocket full of luck. A chimney is a pocket blowing smoke. And a pocket for a giggle is a joke. A pocket packed with giggles is a joke. Look at them. They look like they are so, they are laughing so hard, aren't they? They are having so much fun. Telling all those silly stories, all those silly jokes. 
A phone is a pocket for a ring. A bell is a pocket for a ding. A pocket for a duckling is a shell. And a pocket for a farmer is a dell. <laughs> the farmer and his dairy in the dell. A pocket for a family is a home. This is my favorite part. A pocket for a family is a home. A pocket for an ice cream is a cone. Doesn't that make you want to snuggle up on the porch swing and eat a nice cold ice cream? Mm. A poem is a pocket for a rhyme, and stars are little pockets full of shine. Blink, blink. Wish upon a pocket full of shine. A pocket for a whisper is an ear. A smile is a pocket for good cheer. Wide arms are pockets made for hugs. And your heart is a pocket full of love, sweet love. My heart is a pocket full of love. This can be a really fun story to read right before bedtime. So, if it's not bedtime right now, you can watch it now, and then later tonight when you're snuggling in to your pocket for, for your rest, you can listen to this story all different kinds of pockets. I hope that you enjoyed this story and I hope that you'll come back. Now remember to subscribe to the channel and tell all of your friends so I can have lots of kids to read to. I love reading to you. Thanks so much for coming and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!